This is Captain Salos. We are taking heavy casualties from enemy forces. We are returning to base. Repeat, we are returning to base. This is Commander Millen. Captain, you shall hold your position. But we're getting decimated out here. Any longer and we'll... That is an order. What? What is that thing? I don't know. But it's giving us some cover. Doctor! Where are we? I don't know, but it's a war zone out there. Hmm. That's it? No, it's nothing to do with us. Hit the dematerialization switch and we'll see if we can get to Blackpool. Second time's a charm. Doctor, there are people dying out there. Perry, fetch the first aid kit. I think he might still be alive, so long as we act quickly. A oh, chop chop. People are hurt. Captain Salos, are you all right? It's too late. Get out of here. I can't leave you. There's no point in risking your life, too. Get out. Who are you? I'm the doctor. I don't... Well, where did you come from? Don't worry about that now. Let's just get your friend sorted. Harry! I'd have been quicker if it wasn't holding up a shelf in the library. Library? Who are you? I'm Perry, and this is the doctor. Are you civilians? No, we're travellers, and it's lucky we found you when we did. Do you have a base or headquarters? Not far from here. Maybe we best get moving, then. I see your point. The truck is over there. Take it carefully. Not with haste. Commander Miro, the enemy has retreated with two civilians. Civilians? Where have they come from? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it, sir. Get your men to move out. These new arrivals could mean the enemy have allies from off-world. We must plan our next move carefully. I want a full report upon your return. You really should get some rest, you know. Thank you for your concern, Doctor. But I'm afraid there is no time for rest when we're at war. This place looks like it's taken a bit of a beating. How long have you been at war for? Coming up to two years in the next time cycle. I can't thank you enough for your help. I'm Tala, and this is Captain Salos. Where are we headed? To Commander Millen's office. He's the one who's been making us go out there. And what is it you're fighting for, exactly? Survival. The right to live on this planet. I'll let the Commander explain. Commander, I brought you the two new arrivals. How do you do? I'm the Dot Skills. Sorry. Skills. In what way can you be of use to us? Well, if you had been so kind enough to let me finish, you would have learnt that I am known as the Doctor. My friend and I helped your captain recover from what could have been a very fatal wound. What about her? So much for gratitude. Well, Perry here is a student of botany, but is acting as my nurse. Isn't that right, Nurse Brown? Yes, Doctor. Very well. You can help. How did you get here? Our ship, the TARDIS, it's still outside in the middle of that war zone. Our next strike is at dawn. I'd offer to retrieve your craft, but our numbers are depleted. You can't send anyone back out there. They'll be killed. That is the way of war. That's inhuman. You seem to have a very blasé look upon the situation, Commander. I wouldn't antagonize him, Doctor. Antagonize him? Antagonize him? This man almost got you killed and allowed the deaths of several other people. What on earth could be worth that? Our survival, Doctor. The insurgents opened fire on our colony's council. All members were killed and attempts to destroy our settlements were made. But why? No one knows. One day we had peace with the other colony, and the next they were trying to destroy us. Interesting. That's not what we thought. No, I'm sure you didn't. But nevertheless, it is very interesting. Tala, please show the doctor and Nurse Brown to their quarters. This way. You know that this is only for emergency use only. What is it? We have a situation down here. We've been compromised. Two travellers have arrived on the planet, right in the middle of today's battle. That's not possible. The force barrier stops all incoming crafts. Nothing can land here. According to the captain, this was different. This ship just appeared out of thin air. I'll have the recordings checked. Where are the travellers now? They fell in with the rebels. Shall I have them brought here? No. No, this could be a valuable asset. A real ratings booster. Two new characters come in and shake it up a bit. The AI might be in for an increase, then. Yes. Leave this with me. I'll contact you if I need anything. Nias, get in here! What is it? I've had contact with Miro down below. Apparently we have intruders. What? But that's impossible. I know, but he's adamant. Check the recordings from today's battle. Righto. Stop! Rewind. There. What is it? Who are they? Our intruders. Are you going to tell the boss? Of course. He'll want to see this. Keep cameras on those two newcomers. I want their every move watched and caught on film. Well, it's not quite the Ritz, but it'll do. Thanks. 
A pleasure. I'll be back in a minute with some food for you both. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about this war. It all seems so odd. The commander is an idiot. Not that one can expect any more from the military mind. How are we going to get back to the TARDIS? Next time they move out, we should be able to get her then. But first, I want to know what's going on here. Hey! Look up here! What is that? Doctor, it's a camera. What? Look, you can see the lens and everything. You're right, Perry. Do you think it's surveillance? Could be. Let's see if we can have a closer look. Remote control? Or maybe it's a sensor. You know, to stop it hitting into things. Yes. What are you two up to? Those cameras, what are they here for? We're not sure. We think it's some form of spy device on the other side. Have you ever brought one down? Shot a couple down before. They keep popping up all over the place. They follow us around all the time. Doesn't that freak you out? How do you mean? Well, you know, Big Brother is watching you, that kind of thing. Well, we did to begin with. But I guess you just get used to them floating around the place. Tala, any chance you can show me one of these damaged cameras? What for? I'm intrigued to know who exactly is watching on the other side. Sure. Come with me. We never really did anything with it. The fighting always got in the way. What do you think, Doctor? It's the same model. And looking at this... Yes! Marvellous! What is it? Your troops need better training. They're a terrible shot. But we should be thankful. You're not making sense. The anti-gravitational boosters and the lens have been damaged, but it's still transmitting. Uh, Perry, pass me that tracer there. What? This thing? Yes, that's it. What are you trying to do? Well, I should be able to locate where this camera is broadcasting to, depending on the range. Now, that is interesting. What? The signal is being sent to two locations. This planet and off-world. Tala, what are you doing in here? You're supposed to be- I know. Listen, the Doctor has found out where these cameras broadcast. Look, Millen said that it was pointless. They're spy devices used by Miro. Possibly. But why would they want to send the footage into space? What? See for yourself. Right. Wait a second, that's Miro's camp. What? The other area. That's where the other colony is based. Then the question of why they want to send the footage into space becomes even more interesting. So what do we do now? Well, anyone does when they want answers. Go over there and find them. Into the headquarters of a heavily armed colony? No offence to you guys, but you were hardly holding your own out there before. Perry's right, Doctor. We wouldn't stand a chance. Millen would never allow it. Yes. I'm not sure I trust your commander. There's something not right. Something distant about him. Listen to me, both of you. Your two colonies are at war for apparently no reason. The other colony just decided to attack, yes? As far as we can understand. Then we have these cameras. Your commander says they're for surveillance, but I think they have an altogether different purpose. The equipment employed in this camera is far too advanced for a mere spy device. This could be the answer you're looking for. The solution to ending this war. What do you suggest? A diversion. Something to attract their attention while I slip in and have a nosy around the place. It's gonna have to be a pretty big one to divert people's attention from what you're wearing. That's it? Perry, you're a genius! I am? Yes, well, maybe not compared to my intellect, but for humans, simply marvellous. What we need is something big and loud to catch their eye. An explosion of some sort. Yes, I can see what you mean, but the commander would never allow it. Then it will be our little secret. Come on! Get that thing on the screens. The director wants to see it. Gently with my person. This had better be important, Vida. I have not travelled all this way to be shown useless footage. Far from it, Sil. We've had two strangers get involved with the war. Strangers? That is impossible! Find them! Execute them! As wonderful as that would be, I was thinking it could be a bit of a ratings booster. Two new characters in the programme could boost the viewing figures. Of course. Higher ratings, higher appreciation index, and more money. Every star system will be paying thousands of credits for the next installment of War World. We've got footage of the crafts the new ones arrived in. Ah! What's wrong? I know that craft. It's not possible. Show me those travelers, Vida! Nias? female and her irritating companion. Have them destroyed, vaporized, torn apart, kill them! But what about the- Forget the money! 
It's these two poke their vile noses into our business. We shall be left hanging dry. Fight them and bring them here. Charges are primed and ready. Excellent. As soon as they detonate, get ready to make your way back to the base. Shouldn't we go with you? No, there's no sense in all of us getting caught. I need you to keep outside. If things begin to look like I'm not on my way back, try and convince the commander to send help. And if he doesn't agree? Get back to the TARDIS. Merciless! Did you see that? It must be the rebels. Full alert! Everyone on me! I'm really not sure about this. Don't argue, Perry. It'll be fine. I promise. Come on. Let's move before they start searching here. Knock, knock. Nobody home. Now, let's see what we have here. Battle plans, area maps. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Communications relay and a teleportation system. Now, let's see. Stay where you are. Ah, caught red-handed. Who are you? I'm the Doctor. I take it I'm addressing Commander Miro? Correct. This is my office. Yes. I must say you have some rather fancy bits and pieces in here. Especially when you consider the conditions your troops are working in. You think you're very clever, don't you? Well, that's not uncommon, I must admit. Especially when you've travelled like I have. Turn around when I'm speaking to you! Much better. I'm more commonly associated with the art of looking at the person you address face to face. Don't get flippant with me. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I've met your sort before. Shoot first and ask questions later, that sort of thing. No, I stand corrected. You're the type of chap who doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Hence the fellow pointing the gun at me. You're not from this planet. You arrived in the box. What? Me? No, no. Born and bred on this lovely planet. Don't play games with me, Doctor. I'll have you shot. Yes. I'm sure if I were to irritate you and get under your skin any further, you'd be fit to burst. Very stressful, sat behind a desk, watching people with your cameras, all full of bluster. Shoot him! Destroying your teleporter, too. What? Uh, no, stop! Hold your fire! Cheerio! Not the most comfortable way of travelling. So this is where the real action takes place. Just who is watching from up here? It's just one of those days, isn't it? Welcome, Doctor. This is a most unpleasant surprise. 